Okay. Um, relationship day. Yeah, relationship day. I forgot we only got 10 days left. I thought we had uh, done that yesterday. We got Signe. Can we level her up? Is it going to be like I a don't know, up? but let's hang out with her one way or another. <laughs> That's me. Such pain. Okay. Oh, great. This is the thing I have to start with. <laughs> okay, so you're running around the woods. I think this is or just this is hanging the... out with her. Oh. <laughs> Tired you out, huh? Aw, that's so cute, though. It's better than just the, like, standing around and yeah. talking. No, that was actually adorable. Hmm. She's not there today. Actually, yeah. she's nowhere to be found at all. Probably out in the woods. Yeah, so today is probably her missing day. Oh, hey. So we have her, but we had the quest that we have to go do. Oh, right. The meeting with the... Oh, uh, caught Sirius or Clovis? Yeah, uh, Clovis? Maybe? No, no, it was something C E, but. I don't know. Well, let's figure out where the Rolf homestead is, because who knows? Maybe it's something that we can uh, get rather Remember easily. Remember to bring Alice with you. I wonder if it would even work if you didn't have Alice I with have you. I have no idea. Where is it? It's, it's right here. We might as well do it. Okay. Supposedly a safe haven for kindlings everywhere. But a trap. Or at least she suspects it's a trap. Mm -hmm. The Rolf Homestead. Friendly fire thing. This is the place. Also, nobody's here. Uh, yeah. Totally not ominous. I give it three seconds tops. Oh, see? It's a trap. Yay. Hello, Arcanist Cyrus. I see you're still an utterly unsubtle, loathsome excuse of a man. Such a mouthly little kindling, Alice, was it? You may think yourself Important enough to play with, but you are wrong. I do not intend to taunt you, nor shall I reciprocate. You're a jejun... <laughs> I don't know. Probably juvenile. Insults. Yet you invited me here. All cloak and dagger. Amazing. And you accepted, knowing full well what awaits you. Have you finally seen the greater good? Perhaps you intend to turn yourself in. Hey, hey. screw uh you. Turn myself in? What? To commit suicide? Do you think I'm crazy? I'm afraid the wisest choices are rarely the easiest. You must be Kay Loren. My sincere condolences. I can only guess that you have already witnessed the dangers of sheltering what basically equals a sentient ma magical anomaly. Do you intend to support the king kindling in this fruitless opposition? You know this will not end well, but you can do the right, uh, do right by the world at large. What? I'm a person. Stop speaking as if my life doesn't matter. Who are you to judge me, casting verdicts from your ivory towers? And who are you to place your own good before the good of many? Ah. <sighs> it's time to choose, Master Lauren. I do not wish you ill, but you may leave me no choice. Then draw your weapon. I will not abandon her. Okay. My weapon? My weapon is the very essence of magic. Very well. Prepare yourselves, aberrants. So, how is her version of magic different from other magic? Is the other magic learned, whereas yeah, hers so is Yeah, so it's like inherent? the difference between a Sorcerers. sorcerer and a wizard from D&D. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, I see. Is it just... Oh, well, she has to be in it. Yeah, so she has to be in this fight. All right. <sighs> Easy enough. Oh, what? It only allows three? What? But it says four. You can deploy up to four combatants. Well, l let's look at the 
the questy thing for the fight. No. It doesn't... It's just dumb and broken. Well, well... Oh, I know why it's happened. Why? Why? So because we put Alice in our party, she counts twice. Because not only is she there by default, but since she would normally be here, she's automatically pulled out of it. She counts as two people. Is... what? Well, we can... Do you want to go back? Or do you want to try to finish the fight with just three? I'm just going to try and go for it. And if we can make it, we can make it. I mean, my team's pretty strong. Because I'm wondering even if we did go back to the start um, and what I would didn't do is, bring her along is if we would put down yeah, the other exactly. three. Yeah, exactly. Let's get dangerous. Well, uh, you can take out these magical mooks, right? Oh, there's an obstruction in the way. Goody. Unfortunately, these guys have that dumb barrier of theirs. Ah, <laughs> Diego dodged it. Yep. Whoa, he switched places with them. Yeah. I'm not entirely confident in my ability to beat this with just this group. We'll find out. I'm here. If he can do a nice money shot, that would take off their shields. Yeah. It'll fix the shield problem. These guys are taunted for a little while, which is hugely useful. Uh, let's see if I can. Is it because the they are in the way or the no? It's it's the dummy. Yeah, the dummy counts as kind of a no no go zone. Ah, well, you still got them that way. You. I will destroy you. I will destroy are they all gonna you. attack her? That's bad. Yeah, no, I think I think we are like legitimately going to have a really hard fight here. Uh, I don't actually think we're gonna be able to beat this because of this stupid bug, but incoming. I'm gonna do my best, but yeah, trying to three man this fight. Yeah. Uh... No. Well, let's just let's just reload. I mean, we can skip past almost everything. We can skip past the dialogue. Yeah. Well, I, we still I, have to I, hang out with Signy, though. Did you save? We... No, I didn't. I didn't save after hanging out with Signy. I didn't even think we'd need to. Okay, then well, hang out with Signy. Hang, hanging out with Signy is like super easy anyway. Such pain upon the soul. Cause yeah, I can just skip past. <laughs> but this the, time I'm going to save and we're not going to bring Alice along. Running around in the woods. Because even just having that fourth person will be... Then then watch it go, sorry, you do not have Alice with you. Therefore, you, can't do you cannot this complete the quest. Yeah, it could do that. Honestly, would not surprise me. But I, I, think, I think it's just a bug. Because this game is both well-made and kind of bad in certain cases. About that. There have just been some like small issues here and there where uh, I wonder if uh, just in playtesting they knew, well, you don't need to bring Alice along, so we're not going to. I don't know. Oh, fools rush in? Wise men say only fools rush in, but I can't tell I'm falling in love with you. Defeat Cyrus and his entourage. Okay. So let's see if we can put in three. No, it still blocks you off. Looks like you just have to use Alice and two others. Who would be good against them? Well, yeah. Oh, doing it without... Okay. They can rip shields off. They can rip shields off, and Theo can at least siphon energy to his own shields. Yeah. Removes 100% of shields from all enemy targets in range. Oh. Yeah. So they already have moves that remove shields. Mm hmm. Well, this is dumb. I'm here. Okay. I'll. That's. Oh, he couldn't put down the dummy? 
No. Here's a little something. Oh, it's okay. This hurts. I will destroy I'm just you. trying to think it through. I'm just grumpy. Cause like I will even like the basis. I, destroy you. Of, I don't like it how they can perform one attack and then another. Yeah. It's like they remove shields and then they teleport attack or Yep. That's good. If I could put it over this goddamn hay bale. You would get more. I'd be able to get all of them. But I can't. Okay. I mean, the nice part is they don't have much HP. The problem is Diego is already near death. Yep. And furnowing them. One of them's still pretty uh, healthy. Yeah. The other one's less so. I will destroy. Uh, there, there he goes. I might actually. Uh, so there is one uh, mechanic that I I can use here, which is I can actually reduce the difficulty of the battle. What? Yeah. What difficulties are there? You've never mentioned that before. Uh, I've never needed to. Um. Can you you dark harvest with yourself standing on a square? Yeah. I also notice you haven't been using any of your blitz points. They take them away from me. Well, no, they didn't. I I used I used my authority point earlier. Oh, authority. Yeah. I I had used my authority point earlier to do uh, Diego's uh, super money move. shot. Yeah. Oh yeah. Took Cyrus out. Yeah. We'll probably be fine. Oh. It kind of depends on whether or not they take out Theo. Nope. They take out Alice. Can Theo really take three down? Um. The one that's really low, maybe. Yeah, probably not. It's just the combination of these enemies being able to just take off my shields freely. He put you in the fire! He did. But that doesn't actually kill me. Which is kind of really lucky. Okay. Really depends on whether- He put himself in the fire there. He's a dumb. Well, we win <laughs> purely because dumb. <laughs> well, they're okay. Can't say I'm happy about that, but can't we, say we I'm going it. to question it. Yeah. Uh, Oof. Uh, Are you all right? It seems you shook. Uh, it shook you more than it should. I'll be fine. I've Cyrus had worse. Dead. I'm free. It's a funny feeling. Knowing that he won't be out there anymore, lurking, waiting for me to trip and fall. Okay, thanks. You know, for being here with me. Eh, it's nothing really. Let's go home. I gotta remember I can't use my standard, like, hand claw mouse. Because your hand's been hurting? Yeah. We completed Alice's quest! Yep, so all we have to do is hang out with her. She no longer has people hunting her anymore! Yep. Okay. Is that was she a hard fight. Available? Yay, Theo. She is not available. Well, we're gonna save one way or another, but yes. Thanks be to Theo for teleportation and not having to worry about fire damage. <laughs> if it was anybody else, we would have been screwed there, but we got l real lucky. Okay, spend time with Signe. Okay. And is this her final one too, or is it second to last? Whoa! Uh, 
Another unsuccessful hunt. After all these days and nights, all these moons, still nothing. The spirits are silent. No voices, no bond. At this rate, I apologize. Does the duckling need a moment? So you can be like, I'm okay, or ah, I could use a moment, or I'm just gonna lie down. Do you think that she'll appreciate your honesty or your strength? Huh? I don't know. Let's go with I'm fine. I'm fine. <sighs> oh, she really likes that. Just so. The duckling does not let up. Strength through adversity. <laughs> All right, I give up. <laughs> that was it? Yeah. Well, it's uh, kind of the prelude for her quest, I believe. Uh-huh. Yay. Ah, she's so close. Yep. Okay. Um, Make sure you save. Yes. Not that too many of these are, like, setbacks or anything like that. Okay. Uh, is Alice around? Alice is in the castle, but you can't talk with her? No. Or you can't? Looks like we can. There's just no heart next to well, her. Well, it's because, um, it's slightly, it's slightly it's different. different. Yeah. This should be the last hangout with her. Hey, you. Hey. Hey, glad to see you've recovered after that business with Cyrus. Oh, yes. It may have not been an elegant solution, but... Couldn't be better. I can't explain it. I feel fine. Completely fine. For the first time in many years, I feel at peace. Or more than less, at the very least. It's like a draining fog has lifted. It's amazing. Aren't you afraid there will be more like him? Maybe. But as far as I know, Cyrus was an extremist, and no sane Shadurian power player in the making would ever associate with him. Especially now that he's dead. You know, it's funny. I originally came here by accident. It was an unlucky stopgap. I was trying to smuggle myself... where? I don't know. Somewhere. Out there just to be far away, constantly on the run. And crazily enough, that broken vase may have been the most poignant event of my life. <laughs> I'm really glad I met you, Kay. You gave me something different than a stopgap. You gave me a home. You gave me something to care for. Thanks, sweetheart. What was that hovering above her head? Did you a catch heart. it? Oh, okay. It was a little heart. <laughs> Thanks for everything for being there when it mattered. You know, I think I really should pay Hoxtoon back for that vase. Eh. Nah. Okay, so we've Yay! maxed out Alice, so that gives us... Gera receives Empowered. Eh. And more fire penetration. Yeah. That's okay. All right. Uh, we do have Signy. Signy, who we'll just have to hang out with. We only have three days left, though. So I think we're going to have to pick up Signy's quest and then... And then hold off on yeah, it until the next round. Probably do building upgrades or something just to pass the time. What does the duckling require? I shall follow. Spend the day with Signy. Very well. Okay. Let's see what happens. We're just gonna run around. Oh, again. this is the running around in the forest again, yeah. or okay. I'm just gonna skip it because mm -hmm. it's, it's the same thing. It's just there to to get up us with your nose. Yeah, it's so itchy. It's been like so dry lately that like my nose is dried out and it's very uncomfortable. Okay, so who can we talk with? Hey, doesn't Diego have like um, something to level up? Yeah, he's in the inn. Maybe? I was going to see if we could pick up Signy's quest, but it looks like she's... She's both, out of town. Yeah, she's... She's pieced out. Which is unfortunate. Diego, yeah, they off Diego. Away. Isn't it his, uh... 
Doesn't he level up? Huh. What? Oh, just the sounds for the background sounds for being in the inn. I thought yeah. he was saying something. I get confused. But no, they actually have like kind of like people talking or whatever. Well, it was sort confusing. of like flies when we were out in the farms. That was so annoying. I hate flies. Okay. You weren't uh, going to read his dialogue? No, nah, not for the, the pre. It's repetitive. And generally just like, let's do something that does not involve us dying horribly. We spent the day with Diego. So this is the upper part of the inn? Yes. Well, that was neat. Never to be seen again. <laughs> okay, so... Um, Can we look at people's personality or personal bond levels, please? Okay, so Diego is at three, ready to improve. Signe's at four, ready to improve once we get that quest done. Mm -hmm. Theo, we should probably just hang out with Theo for today. Okay. Because that seems like the uh, the best option we have available before we run out of time. And we'll have to see what happens. I, I really am wondering when they're going to up the ante because we have... Ante? We haven't seen Crucy lately. No. Uh, Theo might be oh. downstairs in the vault. Yeah. I always forget that there are other rooms to the palace. Let's see. I could use a friend today. Will you be that friend? Spend time. And then we just end up hanging out here. Yeah, you'd think having a, a vampire hairdresser would actually be kind of handy, considering how messy his hair is. <laughs> Anything bothering you, Kay? Uh, I wouldn't say bothering, no. But the more we worked, the more it seems like our ancestors either only made a mess or plainly didn't care. I mean, er, aside from you, Grandpa, of course. Huh. Huh. Be thankful I never opted... For gavel kind. Let's see. Anyway, here's how you fared throughout the last two months. Way to go. Success. So, yeah, it went rather well, even at, with all those elfie shenanigans. Consider yourself praised, fellas. <laughs> we. I wish the supporting characters would actually show up in these, like, plot... News has come in. Apparently, Miss Addie's little committee didn't expect that sudden show of backbone. It doesn't seem like the unity is going to bother us anytime soon. We will finally be able to move on to some more productive activities. Fewer circuses, more bread, that kind of thing. There's no telling if Crucy won't crank up the pace again. What's the word on the ancestral treasure thing? Sadly, nothing new. The trail's gone completely cold. And the summer estate? Ellie sent another batch of inquiries. The dragon had mentioned Aralan, so that's where we pulled first. Just so you know, that's a whole other web of extravagant connections. Tracing one dependency after another, we've managed to dig up an interesting lead. A lead? We received word of a certain interesting painting being exhibited in Armalisse at Pinacoteca da Candelaria, and the curator was kind enough to part with it. This... this sounds like a pricey agreement. <sighs> but what is one more bill in the shambling pile of terribleness? Now. Hmm. Well, I think it would be prudent just to show it to you. Come. That's it? That's the painting? Yep. And it tells us what, exactly? <sighs> if you just stay quiet for a fraction of a second. Now, the painting shows a sea landscape as seen from some unspecified island vantage. It's not an imaginary piece of terrain, either. See this? The shoreline matches with the Argent Coast, a region on the border of Rashtil and Armalisse. So what, you may ask? Well, I'd like to draw your attention to this little stamp here. That's the symbol of House Lauren! Indeed it is. 
The painter's signature, or so I was told. But that means... That the painter was Lauren, in all likelihood. And we have a name, Fallon Galar Lauren, the prince in chambers, an unfulfilled artist and an infamous recluse, brother to the king, a man who never took permanent residence in Ascalia. I see. You're saying that he painted this from the Lauren Summer Estate. Naturally, it's a stretch, a cute piece of conjecture even, but the elements fit. With Crucy going into overload, we don't really have the luxury to ignore this. But we also have no guarantee that the treasure is there. Nope. Regardless, Argent Coast it is. Griffith? Sire. Let's move. Now, aren't you forgetting about something, kiddos? Um. Your objectives! Ah! Before you rush out seeking white rabbits, hear me out. Okay, 7 plus kingdom quest completed. Complete our greatest secret. Okay, that's all. Shoo! Well, I think we have 7 plus completed already. If not, we're real close. Mm hmm. I mean, we'll just have to take a look. Yep. The summer estate is finally revealed. According to Gwendolyn, it's located somewhere near the sheet. Wait, is it the sheath head sold? Sheathed shoal. Sheathed shoal. Oh, I thought it was like talking about like uh, the shale head or something, but no, sheathed shoal. With Armalistian border region known as the Argent Coast. Hoping to once and for all resolve the possible existence of the family treasure, Kay ventures out to the shoal on a date with destiny. Money. Whenever I see things in capital letters, I think it's some kind of weird name. But no, it was just sheathed. So yeah, we've got uh, nine kingdom quests completed, so we could just. But we go still off and do the should quest. make sure we're yeah, ahead of the game. I obviously, I was gonna say let's uh, really should have done this, but whatever. Also, uh, so we yeah. haven't done any fishing. Yeah, we haven't done any fishing. Honestly, I think there's a seventh chapter. Um, if there's a seventh chapter, effectively, what I want to do. Well, let's do some more personal bonds. We have well, Diego. Hey, Diego would know what Armalis say is like. Maybe. And Theo. But yeah, so the goal the goal is max out Theo, max out Signy, max out Diego, max out Valen, and then maybe think about the other people. Well, Henrietta. And I mean, we have the next level. Yeah, probably should work on Henrietta and a couple other things. Mm -hmm. But uh, that will have to wait. You would at least get her to friend level. Yes. Either way, that'll have to wait until the next episode of Regalia of Men and Monarchs. So we'll see you guys then. And as always, thanks for watching.